So I got a request to do a croquet. Uh, at first I was like, I don't follow. Then I was like, oh, a croquette. <laughs> I still don't follow. So I guess a croquette is basically a small breadcrumb fried food roll with something random inside like potato or meat. I hear it's very popular all over Asia and Europe, so I figured, hey, let's do what Americans do best and take a classic dish and ruin it. So we're going to start off by making an awesome red skin, creamy garlic mashed potato. And right now we're just cleaning them off, you know, a good habit to get into, unless you're not eating the food. Get a big pot of water to a boil, toss in your potatoes and boil for at least 20 minutes or until fork tender. Did you know if you rest a wooden spoon over the pot, it prevents it from boiling over? Yeah, you're welcome. Did I also mention that it destroys your wooden spoon? So we got 20 minutes to kill, so let's prep our breading station. Fill a shallow dish with flour, a bowl with two eggs, beaten, and some Italian breadcrumbs. So it's been 20 minutes, looks like we're done, but let's check it first with a fork to make sure. Ah, look at that fork, making sure. Drain your potatoes, but be careful. The heat from the steam could potentially cause your skin to peel off or lead to blindness. Or color blindness. I thought these were red skin. Now toss two tablespoons of butter back into the pot. Should still be hot. Add in your potatoes, break them up a bit. Then add in four ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of half and half, and some garlic powder. I wish these weren't so labor intensive. It's so hard not to buy instant mashed potatoes. I mean, ever have banquet mashed potatoes? Yum. Tastes like grits, which is not potato. I mean, this meal literally cost a buck. That's frightening. Frighteningly delicious. Okay, back to the potatoes. I'm still mashing here, but it's okay if there's still clumps, unless you don't like clumps. And now transfer into a bowl, so we have something else to clean. Oh, yeah. This is how I like my potatoes, people. What do you think, Mr. Pig? I hate my life sitting in this bowl. Yeah, that's not what I asked you. So my stepmom brought me these fresh chives straight from her garden, so I figured, yeah, putting them in. And I got this fresh bacon straight from a plastic sleeve. Oh wait, I forgot, people like to see bacon being cooked, don't they? All right, you good? Okay. So we mixed in roughly seven strips of bacon. I uh, would have added more, but I ate it. And a quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese, which I added in before the bacon. So my timeline is sort of off, but you get the point. Mix everything up good and then start laying out little egg-shaped pieces onto some non-stick paper. I am the potato monster. <laughs> potato monster. <laughs> so we made about 15 of these. Well, not at... Not about. We actually made 15, and we had a ton of potatoes left over, but that's okay, because I'll probably make like a giant football size one later on. Place these in your freezer for an hour, and I'll see you in a little bit. So now that a little bit has gone by, these are ready to go into our flour. And then into our egg wash. And finally, in our breadcrumb. We're going to do this about 15 times, actually, we're gonna do this 15 times total. I think showing you once is enough, right? Now deep fry at 365 Fahrenheit, 185 Celsius, 825 Rankin, 458 Kelvin. I did batches of five, roughly two, three minutes. And that's pretty much it, guys. Enjoy. Alright guys, please like, comment, subscribe, as always. We're gonna be doing a new recipe every Sunday. This is like a loaded mashed potato croquette. Eroded. That's what I would call it. I wouldn't no. call it a potato skin croquette. No, loaded mashed potato croquette, I like that. Yeah, that's what we should call it. That's what we're gonna call it. One bite. For the health of it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. You guys eat this? Like, people eat this all the time? Thank you for watching another episode of Healthy Junk Food. And remember, I'm always taking food requests. And if I don't ever make yours, don't feel bad. Most likely, I thought your idea was stupid. <laughs> but I really look up to you, Mr. Junk Food. Well, little belly, let me tell you something about life. 
it ends. Alright guys, I'll see you next week, and tomorrow, and maybe some other days during the week too. Alright, well, bye.